Well, one of the things I like to point out to people when we stop here is the footprint, the environmental footprint of this power plant. When you look at those falls from here, you have no idea that there's a hydro plant there. Uh, the footprint is very small. It's in, it very environmentally friendly, uh, the way this run of the river plant is built. In, in the early 80s, the state studied this and the, and the New Halen River for hydropower. And the New Halen River was shot out because they have this thing called salmon, actually. And the Tazimna River is a natural because salmon can't spawn within, I think it's about a half a mile of the falls because the water, the bottom of the river is so scoured, there's nothing there for them to spawn in. I'm George Hornberger, I'm the general manager of INN Electric Cooperative. We're at the Tazimna Hydroelectric Power Plant. It's our main source of power for three communities, for Iliamna, New Halen, and Non-Dalton. It provides about 99% of our power, if we're lucky, throughout the year. The other 1% or 2% would be a, uh, diesel power out of our plant in New Halen. If you look across the river there, you can see the big concrete blocks there. Those are called uh, sill blocks, and they're just diverters for the water. So at, when the water is very low, they're pushing the water over here to the intake. The project cost about $12.5 million to build in 19, between 96 and 98. We had around five million, five and a half million of state grant funding that went into it, and a little over three million federal funding, and then the electric cooperative borrowed about three and a half million dollars to finish the project. And that's one of the reasons why the cost of our electricity is so high still, is because we're still paying off that loan. This is our intake deck here. There's big holes in the concrete. And so the water's coming in here, goes through some trash racks to help keep the trash out. And then there's a five foot pipe down there and you'll be able to see the pipe once we go down in the turbine room. Let's go down, down in the pit here. So we're 120 feet underground here. This is the penstock. The penstock is where all the water is coming for the turbine. Out of the river, into the penstock, down under the concrete, and then splits off into the two turbines. We are lucky here to have this hydropower. Having lived here for a long time and lived here when we had to make our own power with our own generators. I don't ever want to go back to that. Commercial power is the best thing that's ever happened to Alaska, and especially to Bush, Alaska. Having commercial power brought Bush, Alaska out of the dark ages. People can have a TV, they can have a refrigerator, they can have a freezer. Uh, it's just, it's so much easier than running your own generator. And then especially having the hydropower, is so cool, when you're down in New Halen, you don't hear diesel generators running. You don't smell diesel generators running. Every hour that we keep this hydro plant going is an hour that our diesel engines aren't running and people don't have to pay for the fuel. That's the, the best part, we're saving money.